Six, infrastructure connectivity. Cambodia has been expanding its infrastructure connectivity to integrate and connect Cambodia's transport network and key economic corridors, as well as link with neighboring countries and major export hubs in the region. Major infrastructure projects, including Siem Reap Angkor Airport, International Airport, which opened last year. We have Techo International Airport under construction, which is set to open next year. We have Sihanoukville Deep Sea Port Capacity Expansion Project, which is going to be completed with four phases by 2029, which will allow access for seaport all around the world, for sea freight from all around the world, which have reduced logistic costs to Cambodia. Phnom Penh, Sihanoukville Expressway, and also we have earmarked a number of more expressways that are going to be built in the near future. Green economy and digitization. This is quite a new area and a new priority of the government. Cambodia is committed to sustainable energy with abandoned solar and hydropower potentials. With renewables currently accounting for 62% of our power mix, Cambodia aims to attain the target of 70% in 2030. Positioning our Cambodia as attractive destination for green investments, and we aim to realize carbon neutrality by 2050. Our law on investment further support this by prioritizing green industries and offering incentives to accelerate growth in these sectors. And recently, the Council of Ministers just approved 23 energy projects worth 5.74 billion US dollars from 25, 2025 to 2029. With almost all being renewable. And just before leaving to attend this party, I just signed an approval for the Ministry of Mine and Energy to prepare the necessary work so that we can issue the renewable energy certificate to firms in the futures in Cambodia to provide a more competitive footing for the firm invest in Cambodia. And we also have cross-border financial services. We have been developing digital payment platform, an agreement allowing for ease of settlement for goods and services between buyers and suppliers, and ease of capital remittance and gain repatriations. It contributes to the promotion of trade activity, tourism, and financial inclusion within Cambodia and the regions. Cambodia is committed to digital transformation, and we have embarked on a comprehensive journey establishing digital economy and society framework. And finally, investment promoting program that we have promoted in Sihanou Will. And for 2024, we offer procedure facilitation and special benefit to businesses. And government is rolling out an investment incentive program for 2025, which will be announced in the in coming month before the new year.